now come up um, I've made um, eight pleats again on the left side and um, I'm going to put um, the fold over to make another pleat like this that's the pleat done and make sure that the pleats are going in the direction of the midline um, on the front side so um, again there's the middle the pleats on my left side are going this way the pleats on the right side are going that way um, so yeah that's the front pleats done now we need to move on to the back pleats Okay, so the aim when you're doing the back pleat is to fit this bottom um, piece onto the belt. So as you can see, there's more material um, than the width of the belt. So you need to pleat it so this will fit that when you stitch it. Okay, so what you do is um, you have your belt on the table and you need to measure um, this distance so uh, for me it is 10 inches from here to here that's one side of the belt so therefore your pleats are going to start in the middle here for each side so they're going to start here and here so what you need to do on your bottom half fabric measure 5 inches mark it on both sides from the midline like so and now you need to start pleating but this time it's the opposite to what you did at the front you need to pleat it so it's going away from the midline at the back so for me it will go that way and that way um, the pleats on this side need to be smaller than the ones at the front so I tend to leave them at around a centimeter each so pleat like this starting at the five centimeter line that's one two And what you should do is while you're doing the back pleat, see if um, this, for example, like this side of um, the bottom half will fit that top half of the belt. So keep pulling it next to it, like so. And you can see that I need to pleat a bit more fabric on um, this side. So make a few more pleats at the back. I say that too should do. And do. Put it against the belt again. Make sure you've halved it properly. Yeah, there's still a bit of extra fabric, so I think I need a couple more pleats for the back. And as you can see, that fits perfectly. Now I need to repeat this process on the other side um, of the bottom half. That would be my left leg. So again, at the 5 cm point, you need to start pleating around 1 cm pleat going that way. Um, if you use this as a rough guide, 
I've got one, two, three, four, five, six teeth on this side, therefore I need six teeth on this side. Again, check and measure if it's the same length as the dot. Again, that's perfect. You can see it fits perfectly. So now we need to um, base. Um, out the pinned bits so just like run a line along um, each of the pleated bits um, using the big big sewing stitch in your machine like so and then again on the front side yeah you need to be careful not to um, catch the pins in the sewing machine needle so just the extra this one goes to sew this shouldn't because you've got the pins in like that way um so just be careful okay so after you've finished um, basting just take all the pins out And you get something that looks like this. So the savoir is really like looking like a savoir now. So that's the top pleat. This is the pleat at the back. So here and here. Right. Okay, uh, what we'll do now is attach um, the bottom half of the salon to the top half and um, the belt. So the way that you do this is um, grab like the front of the um, the front of the bottom bit, uh, which is here, and the front of the belt, which is um, the bit which has the elastic casing um, hole. So what you need to do is place the right sides together like this um, and um, keep like the seam here open on each side like so um, and just pin it down make sure you keep the pleat straight in pinning lined to the back of the belt and pin that to the back of the bottom half. The back of the belt is this bit where your seam is, your other seam is, and pin it to the back of the bottom half which is here. It's also where the seam is and where your smaller pins are, that's the back. So just pin that down. Again leave like the seam open so it looks neater like so okay. um, and now just um, pin around so just pin both both fabrics together Uh, 
Right, so after you finish pinning around, um, it should look like this. Um, what you need to do is sew it on um, the sewing machine, normal stitch, and um, if you find that you have extra material on either side, feel free to like add a couple more pleats, um, like just to make it fit. So I'll do that now and I'll show you what it should look like.